Oh yeah, it's time. Bubble wrap out means it's just about time to start packing the spike up and get everything ready to go here. My flight leaves for Peru tomorrow at tomorrow Wednesday uh, at 5.50 p.m. Uh, right now I'm actually gonna do my bike because I, I had started packing and then I was like, this isn't working because I keep saying, oh, well, no, I can't pack that yet because the bike's not yet packed. Oh, no, I can't do that yet because, again, the bike's not yet packed. Um, so I don't like doing things in steps because I find when you do it in steps, then sometimes it's just like, have I already done that? Have I not done that? I don't know. So I'd rather just do it all in one shot here. So I was going to do the bike in a couple hours here, but I'm just going to hammer it out right now. It's only an hour long. Uh, and then I can kind of get everything packed. It's always kind of weird the first one of the season because you, you're not in that rhythm yet. You, I have a good list and I, I put a good list together last year. But even if you have a list, it's still like, again, getting in that rhythm of like, what do I need? Make sure I have everything that I need. And getting into that order of things. Um, it like, cause even if you have a list, it's it, the order of how you pack it, uh, I think is, is quite important to getting everything in the end to be right and uh, organized as best, as best as it could be. So I'm gonna hit out the bike right now. The bike that I'm doing is, uh, it's the same workout as the very first workout in Project 360. Uh, six times three minutes at 110% on one minute recovery. It's only gonna be an hour long. I've modified it to be only an hour long because um, I'm gonna take this taper very seriously here because I have a huge amount of fitness built up here and I'm at a big uh, big uh, CTL and ATL score on training peaks there. So I'm gonna take this taper very seriously so that I can be as fresh as possible uh, come, come Sunday. So I've uh, changed the week around a little bit to make it so, so I'm actually not gonna do very much running at all this week to save the labrum up because it's been, it's been sore for about two weeks uh, and getting progressively worse a little bit. The la over the last two weeks. So I'm gonna chill on the run, uh, very specifically that is, on the run. Um, and then the rest of the things will be pretty short. Uh, looking at the race course, I don't think I'm gonna be able to bike very much at all before the race. Um, so I, I think it, I'll, it, it'll be a forced taper in, in that regard. Um, so anyways, like I said, I'm gonna repeat the first workout in Project 360 now. Uh, remember, like I said on the weekend, I'm kind of redoing all the workouts again, but going to work off a higher 20-minute FTP number, uh, or sorry, hour-long FTP number. Um, so now it's going to be six times three minutes. Instead of the target being 360, the target's going to be 375. Um, so we'll check back in, see how we're doing on that, and then we'll see how packing's going here. Uh, it's a little intimidating, I'll admit, looking around here and being like, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff all scattered kind of around, and uh, it got a little out of control these last couple weeks uh, with the tools and whatnot, but it'll come together, don't worry, we'll catch in, and uh, we'll catch in in just a little bit and see how we're doing on things.
That that bitch would break my heart, yeah I cannot sleep in the dark, yeah She made me think that we had a spark, yeah She left me to die, I'm so empty I hate how her eyes started to tempt me How was I so blind, she was against me Why did I reply to the text she sent me? It was very hard there at the end. Oh, very hard. The other ones were hard, but not like that. That was like, they were hard, but the, the little voice in your head said, you can do it, you got it. Whereas here, there was hard to the point that the little voice in your head was saying, I don't think so, man. I don't think it's gonna happen here. Uh, but you just had to drown it out and do it. That was, like I said, I did it. Hit all the powers. A couple of them in the beginning were above power. In the end, I think they were as well. I think the average probably will come to 378, something like that. I'm proud of myself for sticking in and doing it. And, you know, and I'm proud of the fact that I didn't settle. You know, I've said this before. Every day you have a decision. Whether you want to settle for good or push for great. You have to push for greatness. And uh, proud that on the weekend there I said, it's not enough. I can do more. I know I got more in me. And, uh... We're gonna redo the workouts again at a new level, working towards a new max, a new peak. And uh, that's what this sport's all about. Days like this where you're just in the basement and you know, no one's forcing you to do that power. I would have been fine with 360 as my 20 minute, but I said no, it's not, it's not good enough. I could do more, I could do better, I could be better. Anyways, we'll catch back in when this puppy gets packed. All right, catch you in a bit. Alrighty, so this is the next day. The pack's all done. Went pretty well. Uh, we have over here, we have every tool you could ever think of. Torque wrenches, toothbrush, obviously, but. Uh, Allen keys of all sorts. We got chain whips and all stuff. If you're curious, the list here uh, organized into uh, like a getting there kind of things I need for that. What I need then swim, bike, and then run, uh, and then kind of accessory stuff afterwards. I make sure I have what I have for the race and that stuff. So the race stuff all goes in the carry on, and then whatever. Like just so that in case anything happened, I have whatever I would need to race. Uh, obviously you need a bike too, but um, in terms of what I'm physically wearing. And then kind of the accessory stuff, like I said, like tools and stuff like that, go in the, uh, the checked baggage. And uh, the heavier tools actually go into the bike bag because they don't weigh the bike bag. So you can get away with having a little bit extra weight. So now the moment of truth, see what this thing weighs in, and then we'll be at the airport. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what this puppy is. 
What are we at? Just under 20. Beauty. All right, so we're three kilograms under the weight. Uh, so it's good. So now all we have to do is check in the bike, make sure there's no issues there, and then we'll be off to Peru. So catch you next time from Peru, from Lima. I uh, won't be doing a video for this travel, obviously. So the next video will be from Thursday when I go do a Zwift race at a bike store in Peru. So stick around. That'll be pretty exciting to see. So I'll see you there.